Hi again, so we'll get started. Hi, I'm Diane Donovan from Bodyworks Holistic Wellness Center. What you need to have is you need just to have a piece of blank paper and, that you can write on. Otherwise, you really don't need anything else. And just some place to lie down and be comfortable. So if you need a cushion to put under your head or whatever you might need. And so, and what we're going to be, several poems. And then while I'm reading the poems, just let the, the sound of the poems just flow through you. Poetry has been shown to really help our whole body come into relaxation and into deep healing states just much like music does. And just let any words that maybe resonate with you just flow through you. And then after I'm finished, I'll have you come up to sitting. And sitting, I just want you to take that blank piece of paper and even just write down one word or one sentence of anything that you might remember from, from the poetry. And then just be with that word and that sentence for a moment. And then just allow that to lead you into writing any thoughts that are flowing through you, unedited writing. And just to write, just to write. And we'll write for about, we'll say about seven to 10 minutes. And then from the writing, then after that, what I want you to do is just read your poem or you read your writing, it doesn't have to be a poem, out loud to yourself. And I want you to really hear what you're writing and then we'll take it from there, okay? So just go ahead and make yourself comfortable, go lie, go get a piece of paper and a pen if you don't have one, and then just lie down on your bed, on the floor, on the sofa, it doesn't matter, just lie down and be very, very comfortable. Make yourself comfortable. So just taking a moment to allow your body just to settle, just to settle into being just here, just now. I am being breathed. And as you settle down into that area of your body, just softening, relaxing, letting go. Just allow your whole body to settle even deeper than you were a moment ago. Feeling your breath. Just begin to count your breath. Bring your attention to the very top of your head, to the skin around your skull. And just allow the skin around your skull to complete shoulders, your arms, heavily resting down. Comfortably resting down. Abdomen. Noticing how your belly is so relaxed, allowing your breath to be very easeful. Bring your attention to your legs, your legs sinking down into the earth. Feeling, sensing your whole body completely.
And just say to yourself, all I have to do is just be. And all I have to be is just who I am right here, right, is a guest house. Every morning, a new arrival, a joy, a depression, a meanness. He may be clearing you out for some new delight. The dark thought, the shame, the malice. Meet them at the door laughing and invite them in. Be grateful for whoever comes. This being human is a guest house. Lose things. Feel the future dissolve in a moment like salt in a weakened broth. What you held in your hand, what you counted and carefully saved, all this must go so you know how desolate the landscape can be between the regions of kindness. How you ride and ride, thinking the bus will never stop. The passengers eating maize and chicken will stare out the window forever. Before you learn the tender gravity of kindness, you must travel where the Indian in the white poncho lies dead by the side of the road. You must see how this could be you, how he too was someone who journeyed through the night with plans and the simple breath that kept him alive. Before you know kindness as the deepest thing inside, you must know sorrow as the other deepest thing. You must wake up with sorrow. You must speak it till your voice catches the thread of all sorrows and you see the size of the clock. Then it is only kindness that makes sense anymore. Only kindness that ties your shoes and sends you out into the day to gaze at bread. Only kindness that raises its head from the crowd of the world to say, it is I you have been looking for, and then goes with you everywhere like a shadow or a friend. Kindness, kindness. Love after love. The time will come when with elation you will greet yourself arriving at your own door, in your own mirror, and each will smile at the other's welcome and say, sit here, eat. You will love again the stranger who was yourself. Give wine, give bread, give, give back your heart to itself to the stranger who has loved you all your life, whom you ignored for another, who knows you by heart. Take down the love letters from the bookshelf, the photos, the desperate notes. Peel your own image from the mirror. Sit, feast on your life. The time will come when with elation, you will greet yourself arriving at your own door, in your own mirror, and each will smile at the other's welcome and say, sit here, eat. You will love again the stranger who was yourself. Give wine, give bread, give back your heart to itself 
to the stranger who has loved you all your life, whom you ignored for another, who knows you by heart. Take down the love letters from the bookshelf, the photographs, the desperate notes. Peel your own image from the mirror. Sit, feast on your life. Feast on your life. I am certain of nothing. I am certain of nothing but the holiness of the heart's affections and the truth the imagination. You do not have to be good. You do not have to walk on your knees for a hundred miles through the desert, repenting. You only have to let the soft animal of your body love what it loves. Tell me about your despair yours, and I will tell you mine. Meanwhile, the world goes on. Meanwhile, the sun and the clear pebbles of the rain are moving across the landscapes, over the prairies and the deep trees, the mountains and the rivers. Meanwhile, the wild geese high in the clean, blue air are heading home again. Whoever you are, no matter how lonely, the world offers itself to your imagination, calls to you like the wild geese, harsh and exciting, over and over announcing your place in the family of things. The cure. The cure. We think we get over things. We don't get over things. Or say we get over the measles but not a broken heart. We need to make that distinction, the things that become part of our existence never, never become less a part of our experience. How can I say it? The way to get over a life is to die. Short of that, you move with it. Let the pain be pain, not in the hope that it will vanish, but in the faith that it will fit in. Find its place in the shape of things and be then not any less pain, but true to form, because anything natural has an inherent shape and it will, and will flow towards it, and a life is as natural as a leaf. That's what we're looking for, not the end of a thing, but the shape of it. Wisdom is seeing the shape of your life without obliterating, getting over a single instant of it. Clearing. I am clearing a space here where the trees stand back. 
I am making a circle so open. The moon will fall in love and stroke these grasses with her silver. I am setting stones in the four directions, stones that have called my name from mountain tops and river beds, canyons and messes. Here I will stand with my hands empty, mind gaping under the moon. I know there is another way to live. When I find it, the angels will cry out in rapture. Each cell of my body will be a rose, a star. If something seized my life tonight, if a sudden wind swept through me, changing everything, I would not resist. I am ready for whatever comes. But I think it'll be something small, an animal padding out from the shadows or, or a word spoken so softly, I hear it inside. It is dark out here and cold. The moon is stone. I am alone with my longing. Nothing is happening but the next breath. What to remember when waking? In that first hardly noticed moment in which you wake, coming back to this life from another, more secret, movable, and frighteningly honest world where everything began. There is a small opening into the new day, which closes the moment you begin your plans. What you can plan is too small for you to live. What you can live wholeheartedly will make plans enough for the vitality hidden in your sleep. To be human is to become visible while carrying what is hidden as a gift to others. To remember the other world in this world is to live in your true inheritance. You are not a troubled guest on this earth. You are not an accident amidst other accidents. You were invited from another and greater night than the one from which you have just emerged. Now looking through the slanting light of the morning window toward the mountain presence of everything that can be, what urgency calls you to your one love? What shape awaits you in the seed of you to grow and spread its branches against a future sky? It is waiting. Is it waiting in the fertile sea? In the trees beyond the house? In the life you can imagine for yourself? in the open and lovely white page on the writing desk. The breeze at dawn has secrets to tell you. Don't go back to sleep. You must ask for what you really want. Don't. Go back to sleep. People are going back and forth across the door sill where the two worlds touch. The door is round and open. Don't go back to sleep.
don't go back to sleep. Slowly, gently, just come back up to sitting. Just come back up to sitting and just take your white piece of paper that's waiting for you or your notebook and just write down any words that come to you. Perhaps words that you have remembered from the poetry perhaps a free associating thought that the poetry brought to you. Just write that thought down, that, those words down, and even repeat them to yourself as you write them. And feel the words, the energy of the words in your body. And then just let those words take you. Let, they, let them lead you to the next words and the next words and the next words. And just write down anything that you want to write. Let it all come out onto that piece of paper. Let the words pour forth from you, unedited, limitless words. Words. Notice your mind and just keep writing, letting the words just pour forth onto your page. Unedited. For your eyes only. Just let the words pour forth.
Keep writing. Keep letting those words lead you. Keep letting those words pour forth from you, through you, onto the paper. Let the paper bear witness to your words. Just write for another minute, just for one more minute. Let the words pour out. Whatever words you've been holding in, let them pour out onto your paper. There's no right or wrong thing to write. There's just words. words. Beautiful. And then just coming back up to sitting. Just coming up to sitting. Just take your paper, take your poems, and just begin to read your writing. Read it out loud. Just read it to yourself and just bear witness to your own words. Bear witness to your writing, bearing witness to the feelings, the emotions, the thoughts, just flowing through you. And feel the energy, feel the sensation of your words in your body. Just read whatever you wrote. Just read it and listen to your words. And read it with conviction. Read it out loud, hearing and bearing witness to all that you have written. Bearing witness to all that you are feeling. Bearing witness like you're your own very best friend. Witnessing whatever is moving through you. Witnessing and supporting all that is there.
And then again, just lie down for another moment. And just take your white piece of paper and just place it on your heart. And just hold it there. Just hold it like you're holding those words, like your very best friend, just holding them for you. And know that you have been heard and know that you have been witnessed. Know that you are cared for, that you are loved. And just feel deep compassion, deep love for your own beautiful self. Just even imagine inviting yourself into your heart, even calling yourself by name. And just calling yourself into your own beautiful heart. And feeling deep gratitude for all that you have written for all that you have bared witness to. Deep gratitude. You can just stay lying down. You can stay relaxing. We're going to end here. If you'd like to share what you've written, Please, please feel free to do so in the comments. We would love to see some of your comments and, and what, you're, what you've written and the incredible poetry or prose that came out on your piece of paper. Stay well, stay healthy, stay safe. I honor you. <laughs>